Have you ever wondered if your device could be secretly controlled by hackers? What if your smartphone, computer, or even your smart home gadgets were turned against you? Hello everyone. In the vast expanse of the digital world where information flows freely and connections are made at the speed of light, there exists a dark and dangerous threat that moves in the shadow of botnet attacks. Imagine a legion of compromised computers silently awaiting commands from a malicious side, ready to bring destruction on unsuspecting targets. This hidden army, known as a botnet, has the power to disrupt, infiltrate, and steal with unparalleled efficiency. In this age of interconnected devices and global communication, understanding the potential of botnet attacks is essential, for they represent a modern-day danger that can turn technology into a weapon of mass destruction. Before going on to discuss botnet attacks, let's understand the word botnet first. From a botnet's perspective, a bot is a hijacked computer or IoT device infected with bot malware and remotely controlled by a hacker, identified as the bot master. The network of these infected computers and devices is called a botnet. Botnets can contaminate almost every type of internet-linked device or IoT device, either directly or via Wi-Fi, smartphones, PCs, laptops, smartwatches, DVRs, smart domestic appliances, security cameras, and others. And any of these systems or IoT devices could turn out to be the target of a botnet. These bots are also known as zombies of computer networks. A botnet attack is a malicious and coordinated effort in which a network of compromised computers, known as bots, are controlled by cyber criminals or hackers. These compromised computers are often unsuspecting victims, with malware infecting their systems. The primary purpose of a botnet attack is to carry out various cybercrime, such as distributed denial of service, DDoS attacks, spam email campaigns, data theft, and even cryptocurrency mining. The strength of a botnet lies in its numbers. A single bot might not have much computing power, but when thousands or even millions of bots are harnessed together, they can overwhelm targeted systems or networks. The Mirai botnet is a notorious and destructive malware strain that first emerged in 2016 but its impact continues to reverberate in the world of cybersecurity. This malicious software primarily targets Internet of Things, IoT devices, such as routers, cameras, and smart appliances, exploiting their weak security measures. Once infected, these devices become part of a massive network of bots under the control of malicious actors. Mirai gained notoriety for its involvement in several high-profile distributed denial-of-service DDoS attacks, which disrupted critical online services and websites. Mirai's code had been used as a blueprint for other botnets, further compounding the security challenges posed by IoT devices. Another example is the Kepner botnet, which was discovered in early 2010 and stands as a significant cyber threat due to its advanced and stealthy nature. Named after the computer word for to need, this botnet is exceptionally adept at quietly infiltrating computer systems and stealing sensitive data. Kepner primarily spreads through social engineering and exploits vulnerabilities in various software and operating systems. Once infected, the compromised computers become part of a vast network controlled by cyber criminals. These attackers can use Kepner to remotely access and control these systems, often with the goal of stealing valuable data, including financial information and intellectual property. The impact of a botnet attack can be devastating. DDoS attacks can cripple websites, rendering them inaccessible and causing financial losses. Data breaches can expose sensitive information, leading to identity theft and privacy violations. Spam campaigns can inundate email inboxes and spread malware further, perpetuating the cycle of cybercrimes. Methods of infecting computers and IoT devices Hackers search for weaknesses in the IoT device or system. If a hacker finds any weaknesses, then he uses the malware to infect machines to create botnets. LC plans attacks like phishing to infect the target devices with bot malware. After that, these infected devices get linked to the servers owned by the hacker or the group of hackers to manage these bots. It is called the command and control server. These command and control servers are used to manage communication between hackers and their compromised machines or IoT devices. Now the hack system can be used for any kind of attack or any malicious activity by hackers. First, by infecting the victim's device. Then the infected victim's device, bot, connects to the command and control server. The bot master then indicates bots through command and control server. Bot attacks are set up to perform a task on the targeted system or server. 
By using these techniques, hackers conduct attacks like DOS, DDoS, and brute force. The most common types of botnet attacks are brute force attack, distributed denial of service, DDoS attack, spam and phishing, device bricking, cryptocurrency mining, these botnet attacks mainly harm the availability of resources. The availability issue can be faced by the victim as well as the infected device itself. DDoS attacks can disrupt any server by sending too many requests at a time. This will affect the services provided by the victim's servers and legitimate users will not be able to use the resources. Device breaking attacks cause the device to stop functioning, rendering it useless. Apart from being used for malicious activities, Botnets can be used for many purposes, like proctoring exams and white hat testing of systems or applications. Several botnet service providers are available for hire who can point their botnet at your servers for an allowed time frame and volume to test your server's capacity to manage these attacks. These facilities are often known as stressors or booters and come with various tools for observing and evaluating the outcome. How to avoid becoming part of a botnet? We should all consider, but not be limited to the following key points to avoid becoming parts of a botnet. These preventing steps can help you protect your systems and internet devices. First, always use the latest and most stable operating system on your machine or IoT devices. Second, do not open or download files from strange or unreliable sources. Third, scan all downloads before running the downloaded files. Fourth, do not click on unknown or suspicious links. And fifth, Keep your system secure by installing an antivirus program. Businesses should be protected from such attacks because they can cause a major loss of data and revenue. Organizations can implement practices in their day-to-day -day business regimen and can be secure from such attacks. As always, preventative measures should be implemented. Most important thing is to deploy secure products. Monitor traffic on your network for any unusual activities. Monitor login attempts with wrong credentials. Establish a standard and lookout for spikes. Another technique is a honeypot of IoT devices or systems to fool incoming bots. Set up a web application firewall to block bots from specific IPs. In the realm of cybersecurity, the botnet attack stands as a stark reminder of the ever-present threat to our interconnected world. This tactic, employed by hackers, allows them to infiltrate and seize control of countless devices, turning them into unwitting soldiers in a digital army. As we navigate the complexities of the modern age, the hijacking of our device is a chilling reality showcasing the vulnerability of our digital lives. It underscores the imperative of constant vigilance, robust security measures, and the collective responsibility to safeguard our interconnected ecosystem. In a world where technology binds us together, defending against botnet attacks remains a critical imperative to protect our privacy and security. Thanks for watching. If you like the video and want more such content, Hit that thumbs up button hard and that red subscribe button. Also hit the notification button to get all the latest videos from us. In the meantime, goodbye for now. See you all in the following videos and stay safe.